Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for joining me for a quick discussion about Galatians 5.26. Now, you might not know this, but I am the oldest of four siblings. I have a younger brother and two younger sisters. And as we were growing up, one of my gifts and talents was teasing them. I knew how to get them riled up. I could say or do just the right thing, and the house would be a flurry of activity. My amazing ability provoked them to instigate several different chases, water fights, and arguments. And I needed to read Galatians 5.26. Here's what it says. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. A similar encouragement is given to dads in Colossians 3. It says, fathers, don't provoke your children lest they become discouraged. I don't know what it is about dads and big brothers. We seem to be very skilled at provoking. We sometimes enjoy pushing the buttons that cause anger and discouragement. Galatians gives us a hint that maybe it is our conceit that leads us to provoke others. When we think that we are really something special, we feel entitled to do whatever we want. We can provoke someone, then we have the upper hand. Stirring up frustration and discouragement in others is not a way to honor God or His Spirit who is living in us. Let's take a step back from our provoking ways. Put on humility. Seek to do what will encourage, equip, and help those around us. The Christian family should be a place of joy, kindness, and love. Rather than tearing others down, let's build others up. And let me take this opportunity to tell my brother and my sisters, sorry I made your life hard sometimes. My provoking was uncalled for and wrong, and I think I've learned my lesson. To everyone else, thanks for listening to the Word from the Day, and go encourage someone.